Yes. We're gonna get him today? Yes. You bet. What's up, MFers? It is summer for the dab master. He's freaking jacked. We're going out and we're doing some fishing. I know, so surprising. We got our fishing stuff all packed up and we're actually gonna go check out some of these flooded roadside ditches um, once again here in Nebraska. We've had crazy flooding this spring. And so we're gonna go out, we're gonna do a lot of different stuff. This is my tackle box I'm taking today. Just this Millican fishing feeder bag. Cat fishing stuff, pan fishing stuff, crawlers, corn, bass rods, swim bait rods, all around rods, micro fishing rods, Max's fishing rods. We're, we're hoping to do some micro fishing. I'm gonna micro fish and bass fish because I have seen some giant bluegill at these little flooded areas. And honestly, we're probably gonna cut some of the fish up, use them for bait, use them whole as bait if we catch small bluegill, something like that. Anyway, it's gonna be a freaking hot one today. I'm already sweating. The dab master and I about to get the old hoe loaded up. Let's do this. Dude, you're gonna freak out when you see that we're, we're literally gonna be fishing like on the road. You're gonna like it a whole lot. I feel like it's gonna be so weird in like five years when you're like a grown man and all these people have watched you like when you were just little backs doing the micro fishing. You were tiny when we started this. Now you're grown up fourth grader. You ready for school? Yeah. You ready to be that old? Well, you got two months. We better do a lot of fishing. You guys better tell us too what kind of fishing videos you want to see with the dab master because he's got the next couple months off of school. So we're gonna we're gonna tear up the, the local scenery for the micro fishing. And, and like we said last time, we need to get Max on a giant freaking fish. Maybe that'll be today. Because I'm hoping we can use like some cut bait or whole bait for a big bass or big catfish. So we'll grow all the catfish and circle hooks and stuff like that. So uh, we're prepared. How's she looking? This is that roadside area that Stash Man showed us. Oh my God. It's like super, super high. There's way more water. It's not clean water anymore either. But uh, right down there, I just saw some shad flip. There's a bunch of bait fish and stuff. And then the other side of the road over there, really good too. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get to fishing. Get rigged up. Mr. Dabmaster, your weapon of choice. You. Little crawl action. Chunk of night crawler pattern. Ooh, it might need to be a little, I don't know, we got probably Oh, not enough. We got like three and a half. How is that possible? <laughs> We're gonna have to use little chunks. But we also got corn, so that's cool. All right, so here's the dad master setup. He's got chunk of night crawl. I put a split shed on because I don't know if you guys can tell. It's rolling right there, rolling. And dude, that's where you want to be. You got a little bobber on there too. Don't slip in because that'll cause some problems. You'll be very cold. Well, probably not that cold. It's like 90. That's all you gotta do right there. Hey, look, over and over, okay? And when it gets to there, bring it back to the tube. But they're down there. You ready for them? Yeah. You alive, awake, sleep, okay. still asleep today? Good to go? Mm -hmm. Beady, get a big. I think I'm going frogging. I'm gonna try to frog a couple, Maxie. Got the old basic frog on. How's things looking? I mean, you, got, you know you can like reel too, right? Oh, got one. Reel. Oh, what do you, oh God, what was that? Dude, that was big. Dude, you gotta pay attention, right? That was big. Here, pull that up. You got some stuff on your worm. Oh my God. We just got here, dude. You had something big on. Dude, you gotta pay attention. You ready now? You warmed up? Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. All right, let's catch whoever just pulled you under there. You see the wrath of what lives here now? Yeah. <laughs> that was not small. My God. I don't know if you had a big bass or a big catfish or what, but that was not a bluegill. Not even a giant bluegill could do that. Get your line out of the, the weeds, bud. And be ready. You got bit your bit. Oh God, it's a gar. No, it's not, it's a bass. Get him, Max. Yeah, give him a fight. Give him a fight. You got him still? Oh God, that's a good one. Here, let me get him for you. What? What? Who is this? Who is this kid? What is that? Are you kidding me? Did you see that one dude. swim by it? Yeah, that was a gar, dude. Look at that. You just started with a freaking two and a half pounder. 
We better get a picture of that and send it to mom. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the, the little roadside spot, Max? Pretty good now. <laughs> Here, hold him. Let's get a good hold on him. Yep, I'll take your pole. Remember, thumb in the mouth, stick it in far so you get past them teeth. There you go, right there. Okay, buddy. Let's let's take them. Let's put them back in here. I'm gonna throw them back. Let's be nice about it though. Just walk them up to the water. I got you so you don't fall in. There you go. Dude, what? We just got here. Dude, I bet they're loaded in here because it's way muddier now. I bet there's a lot more current, a lot more water. I it's probably it's probably bringing all that food in there. Dude, that gar was chilling there like he wanted it. Dude, what? Give me some. That's your biggest bass ever, dude. Yeah. We just got here. So it's called a current seam right here where the current's going fast and then over here it's nothing. It's kind of spinning around. That's usually where the fish sit. So let's get it right back over. That's going to be like right here. Your bobber's not going to go anywhere when it's right in that seam, like right there. And then just keep an eye on them and uh, apparently there's uh, there's fish here, yeah. See, it's out in the current now, it's not on the seam. So just kind of keep moving it over. And then after you fish that for a little bit, let's bring them over and we'll fish over on this side, over on this seam. But I'd like to catch a fish too, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going over here to this side of the road. You watch, can I trust you to watch your bobber? Yeah. Okay, and when you go across it, you need to be very careful and look both ways, right? You holler when you get bit again. Okay, frogfish, first cast on the other side of the road. <laughs> yep. Max, I got one. I have a fish on. You won. I think you got the bigger one so far. Max just had another one. Another one, as Prof would say. Little DJ Khaled. Dang, dude, you got the spot. And the cool thing is this roadside stuff, you don't know, like, could be a big bass, big catfish. There's that guy right there. See him on top of the water? You can see him on top right there. Here. I'll try to get him for you. Ah. See him? Oh, he ate it. He ate it. He's trying to eat it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Put it right. You want to catch that guy? Yeah. Those some bitches got teeth. Hold your hold your pole. Oh, he's he's over there now. Oh, they're just super super hard to hook because their mouths are like narrow. He got it. Hook him. You got him. You got him. You got him. These things fight hard. Dang. <laughs> He's out of his mind. You got him still? Hold on, hold on. He's on there. He's on there. Yeah, bud. <laughs> what? Gar master. The gar master, dude. We definitely want to get that hook back. I don't know if we're going to, though, because look at this. Dude, you got to check out these teeth on these guys. They're like super prehistoric fish. Yeah. Those teeth are like little razors. I can't believe you got a man. When Max just dropped him on the bank, the hook broke and popped out. I'm gonna go get the pliers real quick. You stay right there, buddy. Not the most desirable species, but how crazy is that, dude? These things were like, like you said, they lived with dinosaurs. They're like prehistoric. He's obviously very lively. Throw him back in there, dude. You got your biggest bass ever. You just caught your first gar ever. Give me some. What do you think about that? Yeah, Pretty awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. You got a bluegill? Look both ways and bring them on over here, bud. Well, that's not too terrible. How long have we been here, dude? Like 10 minutes? Max already caught his biggest bass ever, a gar. And now we got our third species of the day. Bluegill. Not to mention, you are out fishing me right now. <laughs> Should we put him in the tube? Yeah. Put him in the tunnel. And he's over there. <laughs> Go catch him a kid. <laughs> Good job, man. All right, so we've been here 10 minutes. Max already caught his biggest bass ever. He caught a gar. 
I caught a frogfish. He just caught a bluegill. Things are out of control at this spot. The water, like I said, was way muddier than it was previously. Max has a fish on a good one too. Ooh, ooh. Dude, we can't even keep up with them. There's so many big ones down there. I can't talk very long to the camera because things are just happening right now, guys. But water's a lot muddier, um, clearly way higher. So there's a ton of water moving through this, which isn't surprising. That, that river right there, that creek, I guess it would be, feeds this, and it's been raining a whole bunch more. We, we can't stop with the rain here in Nebraska, but the fish are clearly loaded in here. They've been a little sneaky on the frog. I had that one blow up, but I can see bluegill out there, and I can see bass swimming around. So I'm going to give the old swim jig a try to see if I can't pick up something a little bit bigger. Um, this place is unreal. Oh God, he got it off the top of the water. <laughs> oh yes, you bet. Come here, bud. Sick. Just threw my uh, my six cents swim jig right in there on top of the weeds. This guy kerplowed him. We'll get him back in. This is insane. I can see the bass all up there. And this is cool too, because I also want to show you guys this. So you guys have been seeing me use this rod and asking so much. Like you guys have been giving me a hard time uh, because six cents rods haven't been in stock because you guys like sold them all out. Now my rods aren't available quite yet, but they got this new sensory rod in. And this is one that I've been using for a ton of different techniques. That's why I brought it to this. This is 7.3 heavy. This is like my, my favorite jig rod. Really, that's what I brought it for. Um, but I've been throwing swim jigs on it too great for that but this rod is like the most sensitive lightest most balanced rod i've ever used it's got like a tapered full grip eva handle everything's super jdm looking up here it's it's super super nice rod um definitely not at the price point for everyone this is like the flagship of the line that's out so far trust me when i tell you this i've owned 350 400 450 dollar rods and this thing blows them out of the water in terms of sensitivity action balance everything components i beat the shit out of this rod the last like i don't know three or four months i've used it and you've seen me catch a whole bunch of fish on it but the good thing is you can save some money if you use my promo code mf10 as well as any of this other stuff this six cents baits like this this swim jig i'm using right now but yeah like i said just switched over to this bluegill swim jig because i could see like literally see the bass swimming around out here because it's shallow they're, they're swimming around it looks like they're carp almost but i can see their lateral line and everything they're definitely bass um this place is pretty bizarre though these fish are freaking loaded in here Oh, that's a big one. No, that's a giant. Get out of the terrain tube. Oh, this guy came out of nowhere and freaking choked it. Come here, bud. Yes, dude. That is a freaking hand. Look at this roadside hammer schlagen in the middle of the road. I'm standing out here. That's where you usually want them to eat that six cent swim jig. Look at that. Max, look at this freaking tankzilla. That's like a 21 incher. Look how big his mouth is. Damn. <laughs> wow, that's definitely a summer spawned out fish. He was sitting there right, he was facing into the current. So I'm sure he was just eating everything that passed by, including my swim jig. My God, I don't want to take this guy out of his home. So we're going to take him back over here. That was insane. Dude, that guy freaking whacked it. I haven't caught one this big from here yet. That's like, I don't know, before the spawn, it'd be like a probably five and a half pounder. He's thinned out now. Now he's got a, an eaten belly on him, I'll call that. There he goes. But I mean, now probably a four and a half pounder. <sighs> Told you guys, I wasn't sure how I was gonna be able to come back and do any fishing for largemouth after catching smallmouth up north like I have been. But uh, catching spee shy like that will make it a little bit easier. That was insane. I bet I can catch one right here. Just holding my jig in the current. So like reel some line in. There we go. Boom. Oh God, he's out of his mind. Get in there, get in there fish. Easy, catch and release. <laughs> that one I just, just dropped it down to the bottom right by this tube. Oop, get him. Oh yes, oh, a new species. Look at that, Max doesn't even have to reel. He just walks backwards. See what you got? Yeah. Look. Is that a catfish? That's a catfish. Ah, oh, and he spined me. And you spined your old man. I got poisoned. Yep. <laughs> Ow, I did not feel good. I've been spined. <laughs> You've never been spined before? 
Ow! No, the freaking these side things and the yeah, top things. I got it. I got. I had it before. Well, Mr. Catfish, cool catch, but my finger doesn't agree. Let me make sure the spine didn't like break off in me. So you can't really tell because I got slime and mud everywhere. Well, Max, today does not suck. We've had some terrible fishing excursions lately, trying to get you on some good fish. Today, eight one. Four species. That's more species than you've ever caught in a day, isn't it? I mean, I don't think you've, you've never caught more than like two species in a day and you caught four. Yeah, so you're not supposed to be here at all, huh? Nope. Huh. All right. Got $50 I got, yeah. And the game board is just right up there, huh? Well, I appreciate you letting me know. Yeah, I got you. Well, thank you. There ain't no signs that say this is illegal. We can fish legally from the damn road. It's public property. I think that guy just didn't want to give up his secret fishing spot. He's like, hey, you can't fish here. It's illegal. <laughs> Did you see that guy's glasses? Yeah. Those were fantastic. There isn't, I mean, the sun could be 10 feet from him. He'd be fine. It would not be getting in. Dude, I think you've caught more than I have today. This is not, dude, this is not what I want. Cause this is what happened to my dad. I started out fishing him and I was like, huh, yeah, whatever, no big deal. I didn't realize it was actually gonna happen with you. Just slow down. I'm not ready for this yet. Oh, is that right? You'll prove it. Let's watch it. Let's see, big mouth. Could have outfished me every time if you wanted to, he says. I know you're an expert and everything, according to yourself. What, Max, what? How come we didn't catch that one? How come we didn't catch that one, Mr. Expert? <laughs> hey, I got big fish of the day too. You caught the longest though. That gar was long. Okay, spot number one. Great success! Uh, yeah, can't really say anything besides that. I'm gonna get the air conditioning going. Whew. It's toasty out today. But, um, can't really believe how many fish are in this flooded little area. Caught four different species. Max caught four different species. I only caught one. I caught bass and one really freaking good bass, like a four and a half pounder, which is crazy. He came out of like a foot of water. A lot of bad, terrible things happening with the flood this year, but um, the, the way it's moved these fish around and put them in places like this, not a bad thing so much. Um, but now we're gonna go hit a, a brand new spot. We've never hit this spot before. So again, we literally have no idea what's gonna be there, but I think you guys might wanna know what's gonna be there too, cause it's freaking crazy. Let's do it. We got damn turkeys crossing the road here. Out, at, out here in Brasky. Hi, Mr. Turkey. All right, spot number two. We went to a spot we wanted to go to that we saw on Google Earth, but it's really muddy and blown out. So we went to another spot with this little hidden spring creek looking thing on the map. I never fished this spot, but um, Max and I are really good checking out. I'm going full on micro fish in this one, and who knows? As you saw, you can catch big things on a little tiny piece of worm. You ready, compadre? Looks like on the map, it's right back. Oh God, look at this back here. Oh, dude, there's a ton of water moving too. It's like a little spring, Max. Where, where are you going? <laughs> Smart, I like your idea. I'm gonna, let's, let's check and see what it looks like up close. I'm gonna see if we can even get down over here. Oh, dude, there's giant freaking carp back there. I bet there's big bass and catfish too. Good find. You approve? Yes, you. This is such a crazy little hidden spring and the water's like super clean. I saw some good sized carp and it looks like they just took off back that way. This might even be a spot we need to come bow fish. You guys want more bow fishing videos? No one really says anything to me about the bow fishing stuff, but I had a good time with it last year. I sucked at it. You going back there? We gotta be careful for poison ivy, right? I wanna catch one of those giant carps on this little spinning rod, dude. <laughs> I'm going down the creek. Oh, you caught a tree. Good work, bud. Whoa. See the carp? Where at? Right there. I just heard swim. Right here, over there. Right here. Yeah, dude. That's what I was saying. Ooh, these bluegill just got spooked by something down there, too. Yeah, man. I bet there's big catfish and bass in here, too. What was that? Dude, what was that? Something big. Something big, dude. Here, take your pull. I'm serious, but did you see? This is the wrong pull. Oh. Here you go. 
There's something what? Did you see that thing that was being like absolutely giant? Dude, I'm catching him. I don't care what it is. I'm catching that guy. Yeah, those carp were not small that I saw, dude. The spot's sick, but these guys are like not having it. Maybe we should go back. Let's go out to the this pond that I saw over here. Yeah, is that that place that we just went by? Yeah. Yeah, that had way bigger bluegill. These ones are too small to even get the hook. Oh, sick. Dude, look at this. There's like bluegills on beds right over here. I'm catching one of these guys. Oh, there's a big bass over there too. Comes Mr. Bluegill. Oh, those are bedding blue. Oh, those are tough ones to catch. Oh, he was just a little tiny guy, huh? There goes the dude. Got him. Got him. <laughs> there's a ton of bluegill on beds right here in this lake, but I'm seeing some bass. Dude, there's like some good sized bass right over there. I'm about to go get my bass rod because there's like three pounders galore. Don't know if they'd be able to, if they would eat a frog or something because they can see us, you know? This water's so clean. Eat it. Got him. You bet, Maxi. We need to get you one of these. Even though you outfished me at the other lake and you talk smack to me, I guess I'll, I'll try to get you on a fish. Not uh, the biggest fish in the world, but thick little guy. You want to see if I can catch one of those fish for you? Yeah. See if they'll even bite? I don't think they'll even bite at all. Yeah, they're stupid when they're on beds like that. They don't want to eat. One of them was they're a just trying to. Circle, yeah. Let me see that. You ready for this? Yeah, the guy ain't going to bite. This guy, though? He's down, watch. <laughs> Here, let me slide this up the hook so when he sucks it in, game over. Watch this, game over. <laughs> Max, you told me they wouldn't bite. I thought you said you could catch fish better than me. <laughs> yeah, I've still got more species than you. You have caught more species than me. I call that a win for the day. Oh, it's been a real bluegill. Ice cream, huh? Yeah. Woo! Fun time on the dang water today. Max and I just crushed some good old fashioned Subway and some ice cream. And yeah, well, we're just sitting back talking about the day. About to go run some errands today. So we're gonna take you guys out here. What was your favorite fish you caught today? You caught four different species. Which one was your favorite? Uh, gar. The gar was? That's pretty funny. See, when I was Max's age and not just completely wrapped up in bass fishing, of course I do different stuff now. I was thinking about I probably would say the exact same thing too because I wanted to catch like crazy weird big toothy random stuff and that gar was just that prehistoric garlic and stuff but um super fun time on the water today always good to get the dad master out there and like I said he's uh he's out of school for the summer so we're gonna be doing plenty more of that if you guys like these random roadside flooded ditch pond bank fishing type deals let us know down below go hit the thumbs up right now and uh for me for Max, the dive master, we will uh, we'll catch you very soon. Right, he, I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.